The Riley and Kimmy Show in Altamont Springs at our favorite comic book shop, and that is Coliseum of Comics in Altamont Springs. And it's been a little while since we've been here, even though this is a favorite place of ours, and we have an open door. Somebody said, always come here, and that person is CC, the store manager. Hello, CC. Hello, and yes, the door is always open for you guys. It, it's been a while. I know some changes, which we'll get to in just a bit. And, well, matter of fact, what am I saying? You have a change right at the table. You have, yeah. you have something brand new. Yeah, uh, I'd like to introduce our new staff member, Wesley to Altamont Springs. Hello there. How's it going today, guys? It's going great. And how long have you been here at Coliseum of Comics? Uh, at this location, I've only been about a month, okay. but I've been with the company for about eight months around there. So I take it you like Coliseum of Comics. Oh, I love them. It's like one of my favorite favorite places. Now. Were you a comic book fan before coming here? Uh, I, w I was a huge comic book fan, but I liked a lot of the older stuff, so I wasn't normally buying like the new issues. I was buying, I was buying like a lot of the old Batmans, a lot of the Golden Age stuff and stuff like that. So. so you're like a Golden Age, Silver Age, Bronze Age kind of guy? Yeah, Gold and Silver are like my, my main forte. And What's the story with your little friend here? Uh, this is a uh, Swamp Thing. He's actually, believe it or not, I have like one through ten of the first run, so 1972s. I got one, uh, one through ten of that, and I'm currently on the hunt for House of Secrets 92, which is the Ooh. first appearance of Swamp Thing. Very cool. Yeah, I have a Swamp Thing record album. Or it's actually a record, 45, with a comic book from 1970. Oh, the old oh, ones that play it. through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We just picked up, well, not a Swamp Thing one. We got a Spider-Man, or Spider-Man Fantastic Four in. It's like a little record and a yeah. little comic book. Those yeah. things are awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. that was the best thing that they would say, like, this is the close thing to a uh, comic book audio book mm. is what you had right there. <laughs> yes, yes. And I noticed, Cece, you have some vintage issues here yourself. Oh, yeah. We actually have a whole wall stock, um, and we're actually in the process of building up our 1980s, like all the pre-silver uh, and golden age books. Uh, this is our back issue, guys. So, uh, all right. He's actually in the process of getting our store all back issued up. So should I call you Mr. Key? Uh, yeah, I did. That would be <laughs> yeah, Mr. Mr. Key. <laughs> so try, yeah, I try and that's like my one of my favorite things, hunting down some key issues too. So yeah. So you want to find if you have that Hulk 181, this is the guy to talk to, right? Oh, definitely. <laughs> uh, either that, or if you need to really talk to somebody about a Hulk 181, Don or Jack would probably be your best bet. Amazing uh, Fantasy 15, right? Uh, that'd be somebody to send to, right? Oh, yes, definitely. You want to send it his way. <laughs> He'd be more than happy to see that. Yeah. All, the, all the classics that you might have, the Bronze Age, the Silver Age, Golden Age, uh, you can help them out if they, they want sure to They want to have them sold. They want to buy them or yep. you to buy them. Yeah, if you ever have books that you're looking to trade in for some store credit, cash, bring them to us. We'd be more than happy to look at them for you. Fantastic. And so... You know, you're not just selling the comic books, but you're also dealing in the comic books we're as well. We're selling them and we're buying them. All that good stuff. And toys, too. Now, we will look at toys all day. Now, after we finish this interview with you, Cece, we will have Kimmy run them up throughout the store and video the store just to give them an idea of what is right now. Because we've done it in the past, but that was then. Now you've done some changes and there's different product that's in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. We've switched the store around completely. We've got all the pops in here now, more statues, and, of course, now our back issue expansion as well, mm -hmm. which is still a work in progress, but we are on the right path to having a lot of back issues in this store. You know, that is a, a complaint some people I, I've talked to about comic book stores. Mm -hmm. They're like, well, there's, they, they call that a comic book store. There's there's not a single back issue there. But yeah. you actually have deep here, it seems, but you have the whole Coliseum family to tap into. Yeah, right? we've got six stores all together, plus a whole entire warehouse. So I'd say all together, we're sitting on like 15,000, if not more, back issues. So if you're looking for something, we can probably track it down for you. Well, <laughs> Coliseum is my friend because a number of years ago I wanted to find him, and it was not a high-valued comic book. It's one of these you just didn't find around, and it was a, a comic book from 1974 called E-Man, yeah. and I would talk to some people, they go, I don't know what you're talking about. Like, well, it's E-Man. It was a Charlton book. They're like, and I said, I'll try Coliseum. Coliseum did, found it at one of the other stores, and I had it in my hand within a week. Oh, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, because like with the six stores, so if you ever came to like our store, for example, we didn't have something you're looking for, uh, we can call around, we post out request and if we track it down somebody's got it they will send it here for you and we hold it for you till you can pick it up so we always have the means to try to find something for you and if another if we can't find it in one of our stores we'll even go a step above and beyond to even try to track it down for you i've seen this it works it really does and i've had some <laughs> other friends that do that too they use coliseum in that way and you also order things ahead, meaning there's a little, well, it's not a little, there's a, a catalog that comes out called the, previews. The nice, oh, yeah, it's like Christmas every month, essentially. So 
<laughs> the end of every month, last Wednesday of the month, you get a catalog called Previews, which essentially is three months ahead. So you get to see everything. And then every month we compile a massive diamond order. So tell we get all your comics, your toys, all that good stuff in the stores. So you have all your new books and new stuff on Wednesdays. But yeah, every month you'll get a Previews catalog, and it's amazing. So if my math is right here, is this Wednesday uh, Previews coming out, or did I miss one? Nope, it's going to come out this week. So this Wednesday we will have Previews in store for you. Yeah, that not, uh, I love Previews. I love going through Previews. Matter of fact, amazing. we do Previews, Previews at times, going through you know stuff to tell people what you know, yeah, you gotta get, it's a good thing because you can find out new books that are coming out and get people excited for it because there's new number ones that are always in the previous catalog. So let's see, previous is three months out at least. Mm -hmm. Sometimes statues are a little longer or yeah. you know, certain pieces. We're talking about Christmas material now, there right? Is stuff in previews for Christmas now. Yeah. We're getting to like the holiday Harley Quinns, the holiday Joker toys, like everything Christmas. And I'm like, oh my God, really? <laughs> it's crazy that like we're going to be ready for like Black Friday soon. What? Like, oh my God. You're right. It, it, that's just around the corner. Yeah. Like especially with retail, you gotta you prepare for that like months in advance. So Whoa. the blackout dates are starting to roll in. So whew. it's too early to talk about this, but I can guarantee this part. Coliseum has excellent deals on Black Friday, and and you do throughout throughout the the chain. But I'm sure you're going to have something maybe specific for yeah, the we'll store. Yeah, we have some really really awesome things going on for Black Friday. Usually sometimes too with like Black Friday, that might be the time where we actually start like sales on statues, mm -hmm. all that good stuff. Because usually. Next year, when March Madness rolls around, is when like sales are crazy, Ooh. crazy and amazing. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. so come out if you're watching this. The, the time it's uploaded, the week it's uploaded. Come to Coliseum of Comics if you're in the Altamont area, the Central Florida area. Get your previews. Find out what's going to be around for Christmas. Uh, matter of fact, don't be like I have been with comic books. <laughs> Be a subby because if you like a certain storyline, something. Let's use an example, Batman for a reason. If you like Batman, you don't want to be left out, especially with the changes with the rebirth and stuff oh, like exactly. that. And this is the uh, probably I, I'm going to do a side here. Probably rebirth has caused some problems at times of keeping stocked with some of the comic books, right? Yeah, some of it. Like when rebirth first started coming out, it was it was tricky. Like certain ones were like we were running out of like crazy. Like let it be the special or some of the number ones. But now you're getting into the point where you're kind of finding out what people are actually mm -hmm. wanting to read. So now you're seeing like certain books start to taper off, but then other ones start to pick up, do really well. Batman's doing great. Green Arrow's doing really good. Flash is doing incredible. Wonder Woman's doing really well. And then, of course, like Blue Beetle just came out, and that one's actually doing very well. Um, for its first week release. And then, of course, then we go into Marvel, which mm. is, they're doing all kinds of stuff, too, you know, with Civil War that's going on, which it was only supposed to be seven issues, but they bumped it up another issue. So it might end by the end of the year, even though it was supposed to end in October. Gotcha. So that's that's kind of causing a problem, and then The Dark Knight is kind of causing a problem right now as well, oh. because that book is delayed. <laughs> oh, my. So anybody that's been reading The Dark Knight, it'll probably end next year sometime. Next year? Yeah, because the next issue I don't think is scheduled for, like, November. Oh, okay. Ah. Well, you don't want to, like, she's talking about some of those issues being extremely hot, and even the variants, sometimes you, well, you have notice of variants, oh, right? Oh, yeah, variants, yeah, variants are, like, everybody wants variants. Right. Variants are a little bit tricky sometimes, as far as, like, qualifications and stuff go. That's why the subservice is, like, the best thing to be on, because it, you know, you're always guaranteed your books, and especially for variants. Variants, you're more than likely going to get the variant than if you come in to try to grab it off the wall. And not to knock any other comic book shops around, Coliseum has an advantage with the variants. I'll, I'll reveal something here that maybe some nerds don't know. It depends a lot of times if the store gets a variant because of the amount of comic books they order. So oh, yeah. with Coliseum being who you are, you have a good chance of getting that variant. Yeah, we have a little bit easier chances of, with all the six stores, pretty much like the sales end up being combined. So like if we, we qualify a lot easier sometimes for variants. But when you get into like the Marvel where you have to exceed like 120% yeah. of sales on previous books, it gets really tricky yes. sometimes. And they've made it a lot more difficult to get variants through Marvel. DC, they're easy now because most of them are cover price. So mm. it's like order all you want. But Marvel, sometimes you might qualify, but you might get one of them. Wow. So if you get on that subscription service, you have a higher chance of getting the variant than just trying to, like I said, come in, grab it off the wall. Because Wednesday mornings, you get everybody that's coming and looking for variants and certain covers that come in and they're usually gone by the AM too. Well, and then they're on, <laughs> then they're on secondhand auction market. For, <laughs> it, I'm serious. True. It happens. Yeah. It's crazy. You'll see books that literally just hit the stands at cover price and then they're flipping on eBay already. Yes. And it's like, Oh my goodness. So that <laughs> book I could have gotten at cover price. I'm now paying like double, if not triple for. So don't be left out. Get your previews catalog, get your sub subscription, your poll service right here at Coliseum of Comics in Altamont Springs. And it's free. And, and, and 
it's free. <laughs> and let me let me ask you this one: Is there any, uh, if I remember correctly, is the card? thing. Does Coliseum have the card thing yeah, going for the subbies? The stamp card, yep. Yeah. So essentially we have a stamp, like a reward program. So as you're buying your comics, every time you come in, you spend 10 before tax on your books out of your box, off the wall, you get stamps on our stamp cards. And then once you fill it up, it's $15 good for anything in the store. And then you get back bucks too. There's a lot of perks. Um, you only have to be down for one book to stay on subscription. And then we offer like a really cool first issue guarantee. So if you ever buy a number one, you don't like it within the first 14 days, bring it back. You can switch it out for another number number one of the same cover Whoa. price. So it kind of helps you start to like figure out what you want to like, you know, what you're enjoying and what you want to actually be uh, reading and be on sub for. Okay, and, and I think probably if people had, let's say they, they just started reading maybe Rebirth or something else and they've missed some issues, Coliseum be the place to go to to oh, try yeah, to fill those holes. Yeah, and if you like, if you were ever missing any issues, so say you had like one and two of Batman, and you're missing like you know three and four, can't find them. We'll try to track them down for you for sure and get those holes filled for you. Way cool. Now I want to talk about something real cool, and it's related to the shirt, and something we talked about a little bit ago. Batman. Let's talk about Batman Day. You know, that's why I'm wearing the Batman watch. You're all Batman. Yeah, I got the Batman hat. You gotta yeah. be though. It's Batman. Now, I have a really <laughs> ugly Batman hat. She wouldn't let me show up. Kimmy said, you cannot wear this. <laughs> I mean, this thing's ugly. And she, she's like, you cannot wear that on camera with CC. And so I'm not, I, yeah, I had well, to, I like the Batman hat you got. Uh, this other one, I'll show you some other time. <laughs> it, it is frightening. You might have to wear the Batman Day. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Kimmy will come to Batman Day <laughs> if I wear it. It's that bad, isn't it, Kimmy? Yeah, it's that bad. <laughs> okay. Batman Day, this is the place to be. Give me some details about Batman Day. All right, so Batman Day is going to be on September 17th, which is going to be a Saturday. Um, it is a free event. We're gonna have some artists here for everybody that can hopefully get some sketches. Um, we're also going to be giving out a Batman comic for free, which is literally the uh, Rebirth number one. So if you missed out on that, we're literally gonna be giving it out um, on Batman Day, but it's a great event. You can come out dressed up if you want. Whoa. Cosplayers are welcome, um, but everybody's welcome out. Fantastic, and this is going to be fun. Now, we're not revealing on the video here two artists, right? We will be revealing that through your Facebook yes. page. Yes, we are going to reveal that through our Facebook page. Once we get the event, everything set up, we will make the big reveal on our Facebook page. So please check us out. That's right, and we'll have a link to their Facebook page right on our website. Also, a magical thing right now called CG. We'll also have that link right <laughs> on our website at RileyAndKimmy.com. Now, once Batman, oh, wait a minute. I forgot something. Thank you for inviting the Riley and Kimmy show to Batman Day. Oh, of course. Yeah, you guys are yeah, always yeah, welcome, yeah, like I said. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for having us part of it. I had to, I had to thank you on camera. You know, oh, yeah, I wanted to show my appreciation. <laughs> so Kimmy will be dressed as Batmite that day. I just wanted to, oh, no, okay. <laughs> Kimmy will not be dressed as Batmite that day. But if you want to dress as Batmite, come on out to Coliseum of Comics. That is Saturday, September 17th. Now, the next month is going to be something towards the end of the month, right? It's going to be a little Halloween kind of thing. It is. So usually we have free comic book day which is the first Saturday of May but um, October 29th we're gonna have free off uh, another free comic book day but it's Halloween themed so it's Halloween comic fest um, which will be the 29th which is a Saturday so like pretty much Halloween weekend um, we'll have bunch of books that'll be free. A lot of them will be like Halloween based. Okay. Um, Marvel, DC, indie, all ages. Once again, it's a free event. Cosplayers are welcome. Everybody's welcome. And we hope to, that everybody will come out for it. Do you uh, order the, the little Halloween packs? If people don't want to give out candy, do you have the little Halloween yeah, comic? We can normally order those um, for you because um, sometimes like our subscribers and whatnot and customers actually like to give those out as opposed right. to candy, um, which honestly a comic book book over candy is pretty sweet. Yes. Not going to lie. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, we can. We usually can order those. Um, I know there's like Pokemon ones that are like out this year that are really cool. But yeah, we can definitely order the little bundles for people to give out. Okay. This is the place to get that. That's Coliseum of Comics in Altamont Springs. What is out this week? We've made this available on Sunday and it's available this week and, you know, as we get right close to September 1. What is available this week at Coliseum of Comics? This, th this week's actually a very quiet week, believe it or not. There's actually not a whole lot of the Rebirth titles coming out. It's more of like a big annual week. Um, the biggest release, in my opinion, that's coming out is... Finally, the new issue of Saga is coming out after almost being on hold for almost three months. Um, but that's a big one. But honestly, the biggest thing is that previews catalog. All right. Yeah, it's a really light week. Previews catalog. That, that's, yeah. a, that's a big thing. The previews catalog is... is a very big thing. Yeah, and we actually take uh, orders out of the previews catalog, too. Um, oh. You actually get the pre-order price, too, if you order, um, and you get previews each month for free if you're ordering something out of it, too, whether it be a 399 comic, statue, anything. So there's a lot of perks here 
that we uh, we can help you guys out with anybody that comes to Coliseum at Comics Altamont. All right. <laughs> now I, I have to ask this question. We've asked it, I think, previously in a, a previous interview. But you've been with Coliseum. Not the store's only been open for a short period of time, five yeah. months. But you've been with Coliseum for a long time, right? Yeah. Um, I've been here um, over three years now. Yeah. This will be my uh, third year anniversary this month, essentially. Wow. So, happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you. I am so happy to be here. I love Coliseum. It's like a family, essentially. Well, I will. I will sort of rat somebody out. I was at Tampa Bay Comic Con and somebody was very proud of you I ran into. He he was talking nonstop about you and that is Phil the owner Aww. of Coliseum of Comics. He said you make this store. Oh, I appreciate it. I really do try. Like, that's, that's really what we aim for at this store is just to make people feel at home. Like, we want people to be able to come here and, like, talk to all of us and feel like they can talk to us about the stuff that they love. So our yeah. doors are always open for everybody. If you ever want to just come out and hang out and talk to us, come talk to us. I can stress it's not a boys club here. It's open to everybody. You know, uh, you know that's one of the problems Kimmy's had in the past at certain comic book places. You walk in and it's like, you know, females girls aren't really comfortable they're yeah, not welcome that's what's, that's what's awesome like with call steam too like we have a lot of female staff now yeah i mean we finally just um we've got three females running uh stores now we've got wow. uh, audrey and millennia me over here at uh, altamont and now we have katrina over in tampa so cool. girl power woo! <laughs> <laughs> it's it's awesome though it yeah. it's good to like see you know a female staff in the stores as well so you know because sometimes you can feel a little bit uncomfortable if you go in and it's just like guys everywhere guys everywhere but nah. yeah yeah, and it's not it's not a clubhouse thing going here at all. It's nope. open for the whole family. Everybody uh, it's here. well lit. It's clean. That's one of the things I got to stress too. I mean, it's oh, yeah. not, it's not you know a dingy my OCD, place. My my OCD kicks in a lot here. Uh -oh. I got I got to move my box. Like all these holes in the pop wall drive me nuts. I got to go fix them. <laughs> like there's like little things, but yeah, that's what we got to keep the store nice. You know. And, and before I let you go, Kimmy's going to capture this on video. How many pops roughly do you have? Just roughly. Oh, there's got to be at least over 200 pops in this store, if not more. But gosh, I remember my when I used to work at my Millennia. We used to have over 300 plus pops, like a whole wall, whole underneath part. But pops, man, they are like today's Beanie Babies. They yeah. sell like hotcakes. <laughs> they cool. really do. Do you, incredible. do you have any personally? Yes, I do. I've got a couple. I've got a Cthulhu <laughs> pop. I've got a Wolfman pop. I've right. got a my big Godzilla pop. So I've got a couple, yes. Uh, okay. See, <laughs> even I do, and Kimmy has at least I, one or there's two. There's always like one or two that you're just like, nah, I have a Swamp Thing pop that's actually coming in soon. Oh, yeah, so I'm excited. <laughs> We, we we hope to see everyone at Batman Day that's here at Aldemont Springs at the Coliseum of Comics. Please stop on out. And if you can't make it for Batman Day or you can, come out here anytime. You're open seven days a week, right? We sure are. Come visit us any day you want.